got my depends on and I'm ready for action. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Well, that's the first thing coming on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> dark having dreamt i was in pursuit piling on the circular talk just like i used to do hey internet highway 47 here with you watching the orville on the time of the day that it is right here now i am (laughs) i am not thinking about what i'm saying before i start episodes anymore because screw it um this is the orville and this is the season finale season one episode 12 mad idolatry And I am Shaggy B. Along with me is Draco Funk. Hey. And along with us is Scrodrick. Howdy. (laughs) We brought the whole crew for the season finale. And Scrodrick with his cowboy hat and his spurs is here to just (laughs) drown him up, partner. (laughs) Well, you know, because I am the most Southern out of all of us. Yes. That is a lie. Including me, who lives like 500 miles south of you. (laughs) I live like 100 miles south of you. Yeah, uh-huh. that's why I said that is a lie. <laughs> you, you've Although, gone so far south, you went almost all the way back around again. Yes. Yes. But you took a shortcut. <laughs> By going north. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, do you own a cowboy hat? I own several. You probably own more than I do. I have two or three. Um, well, I can look over and see one right now. So I, I want to, can you do me a favor just right now? Go get one and then take a picture and put it in the, the, the chat. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting music. That's not copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta unplug my phone. <laughs> unplug my phone. Down, 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 down. And this is the one that fits poorly. So it's even better. Awesome. Scrodrick's got a cowboy hat. Scrodrick's got a cowboy hat. You know, they say about guys with big cowboy hats. No, what do they say about guys with big cowboy hats? That they, they ride big horses. You know what they say about guys that ride big horses? Um... Now, they got big cowboy hats. Oh, okay. You know what they say about big cowboy hats? What do they say? Th- that they hold ten gallons, which is a lie. They only hold about two gallons. Have we tested this out? Uh, other people have tested this out. I, I don't own a ten gallon hat, but I have like <clears throat> I have read you know various things that that you know. Have have there have. we go. I even put it in a meme chat. <laughs> oh, awesome! Yeah, wait, everybody can share in my shame. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> so, this episode is called Mad Idolatry, and you know what? I think, I think, you know, fuck it, let's just worship cowboys. Yeah. You know, YOLO. YOLO. That's the closest I'm going to get to Mad Idolatry tonight. What can you tell us about this episode, Draco? A lot of things. Like, it originally aired December 7th, 2017. Why, that's a day that will live in infamy. It will. It has an IMDb rating of 8.5. Why, that's a number that... I don't... Okay. That's a pretty good number. It is, I believe, the highest rated episode of the Orville. I was just going to say that. and I At think least according to IMDb. Right. I think that's the highest rated episode of anything we've watched so far. You know, anything of the two series that we've watched. I don't remember. But I, <laughs> I can don't probably either. pull that up really fast. And I'm and, back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it is in fact the highest rated one so far 
the highest rated episode of the next generation was conspiracy with 8.1. Hmm. So, yeah. So this, this should be really good. And if it's not, then, you know, you only have yourselves to blame. We are watching this on Hulu today. Now there are other ways you can watch this. Uh, We are watching this without commercial breaks. However, if you do have commercial breaks, that's okay. We'll let you know when they are, or at least we try to. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to fail at that, so it may be okay. We fail pretty hard at that, but probably good enough that you could, you know, make it around. Uh, We also will not skip the intro, unless you're Scrodrick and you try and skip the intro anyway. Even though there's not a button for it, I don't know how he does it. Scrodrick finds a way. (laughs) <laughs> Scrodrick uh, finds a way. <laughs> My Jeff Goldblum is terrible. But <laughs> <laughs> That's part of why I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Must go faster. Must go faster. All right. But we, um, whatever method you're watching this, get the counter to the zero. If you're watching this on Hulu, we found that if you hit play and let it start and then pause it and then re- use a 10 second rewind button, we use a similar method when we watch stuff on Netflix. I don't think we've ac- actually done anything on Amazon Prime together. We should do I I don't have Amazon Prime. Because I am a pagan and a heathen you and Protestant. a Philistine. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have had Amazon Prime since uh, they announced um the Grand Tour. Yeah. Yeah. I've considered I, got- I just go ahead. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Can you say that again? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> I've considered Amazon Prime, but I, I'm I, I'm of the opinion that I shouldn't have to pay for like twelve different services. You know, like it's actually the cheapest. <sighs> really? Yeah. No, but what I said before was I got Amazon Prime back at the announcement of the Grand Tour. Mm -hmm. I did not have Hulu until we started doing this. Right. That's actually the same for me. I had Amazon Prime. Um, Actually, I had it before the announcement for the Grand Tour, but they kind of, I kind of stuck with it because of that, and I have enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you know, I get paid at the end of next week, so maybe you guys can talk me into getting Prime then. (laughs) (laughs) Should watch the Grand Tour. I, I watched, I watched the pilot episode at your place. Last summer. Season two is actually a lot better. Okay, that's good. What do you think, Scrudger? I haven't had a chance to watch most of it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm afraid yeah. of when I get all these streaming, streaming services, is that I'm just going to be like, oh, I'm so glad I have this, and like six months will go by, and I've well, given them $100, and I've done nothing. My schedule is so chaotic, though. It has paid for itself with having predictable shipping. See, and that's true. And I don't, I don't know if I like, I don't know if I order enough stuff from Amazon. Although I might. Uh, that's the other thing is we originally got it because we have ordered. We do actually order a good amount of things from Amazon. I do read a lot of stuff on Kindle, and I do download a lot of music from them. I buy a lot of music from them. Hmm. I used to go through because they used to do like. They used to do like, you know, random free, you know, undiscovered music days or, you know, weeks or whatever. And I used to go through and just search a genre and just download everything. Like I have all this terrible metal music and like, <laughs> like not much better blues music. Although there's a couple of gems in that one. But uh, <laughs> like from that, it's, it's really hard to screw up the blues. It, yeah, exactly. I mean, they managed it on some of them, <laughs> but you I know, it was impossible. Screen. Yeah, you know we should go to that blues festival that I talked about going to with you guys last year, the one in Wheeling, West Virginia. When is it? Uh, f- August, first week of August. If if possible, I'd like to go. Do they yeah, do... me too. Is there any open jams during that? There might be. I'm not sure, but it's like Wheeling is the perfect town for a blues festival. It really I want to. I want to talk my way on the stage. <laughs> Dude, I will. You, you know that's not. I've done that. Before. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have. <laughs> I've also tried to talk my way off of stage and failed. Mm. Somehow oh. that's harder. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't like it seems like it shouldn't be, but it totally is. <laughs> I, I was literally sitting watching my friend play and ended up on stage and my wife's calling me why I'm seeing pictures of you on Facebook now on stage playing. You just went to watch what happened. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I got here. <laughs> That's what happens when you're that bad. Ass, so <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> well, I, they, they paid me a little bit of money. It was only like $20, but I remember that clip you showed me of uh, the one band that like um, they, they told you to come play. And then they're like, you're like, when should I go on stage? And they're like, don't worry, you'll know. And they're singing the song for like five let's, minutes. Let's, let's never mention that again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can show Scrodrick the clip. I will. Yeah. I don't know. I'll send it to him. You know what we haven't talked about for like five minutes? <laughs> the Orville. The Orville. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we enjoy hanging out together and we don't get to do it often enough. That's exactly That's... true. You guys are the first men I've talked to, like grown men I've spoken to. And like, <laughs> when was the last time we recorded? <laughs> uh, Friday? No. Yeah, Thursday? Thursday? Yeah. It's like five days. <laughs> uh, <sighs> thank God one of you is a cowboy. I was afraid that we wouldn't have the divine with us on this episode about mad idolatry. Let's see. The last person I interacted with that wasn't a boss was a teenager that was swearing at me. So, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can't even count the number of those. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, particularly if we're going to count like the same teenager swearing at me at different times. Like it's just, it's not even quantifiable. Well, you know, as part of my job, you know, I have to give people nasty things to drink mm -hmm. for the tests that I have to do. And, uh, you know, a lot of the adults, you know, I'll ask them, you know, like, you know, how, how was this stuff? Because we changed up what we use and mm -hmm. they're like, eh, it's not, not terrible. It's not good, but it's not terrible. Yeah. And this, this <laughs> was a 17 year old. Mm hmm. And they're like, oh, fuck, this, oh, this is awful. Ah, and I'm like, it's <laughs> the end of the world. And I'm like, you, you'll get over it. You know, you're, you're hitting the age where binge drinking is going to be a thing. You know, yeah. give it another couple of years, you know. <laughs> oh, man, I have stories that I can't tell right now. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> not about me binge drinking. Specifically when I was underage. But, you know. um, Yeah. We should like start this episode. Yes. Well. <laughs> Which, oh, I am really bad. looking forward to this episode. I like it a lot. Good. Well, then I don't watch remember it. it. I I know I've seen it, but I don't I, remember it. Oh, I I have not seen it at all. Well, we should fucking do this then. <laughs> yeah, let's stop. You know, jerking let's, off. Let's, let's stop, stop hanging out and having. I'm fun. I'm gonna have to cut so much of this. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, Dude, we've literally been talking for 50 minutes. I'm so sorry. I'm not that sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, like I said, this, this, the first 50 minutes is going to be cut down into like two minutes. Yeah, you're going to be like, hey, guys. All right. <laughs> sure, I'm glad I'm wearing Depends. Yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> I have diarrhea because I took pills for that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need a counter for how many times you say that in this episode. Just like download like a like a boxing ring bell noise, so you know. Sure, I'm glad I'm wearing the pens. Dong, <laughs> don't come up at the bottom. Uh, you ready to start the episode? Yeah. All right. Why not? M manipulators on your buttons. We are watching the Orville Mad Idolatry season one episode twelve, the season finale, and we are starting it off in five, four, three. Two, one. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. For a second there, I thought they were playing the Voyager theme. So did I. I like where this is going. <laughs> just like me yeah oh wait no. <laughs> <laughs> that too <laughs> you know what it's a good thing <laughs> <laughs> hey he's all bare chested
Whoa. Uh. Yes. Uh. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope he had pants on. That's a good point. I don't think <laughs> you're gonna like it. Uh oh. Is that like chocolate sauce or poop? <laughs> oh good. <laughs> oh. Um. How do you know that you get enough? Uh, uh oh. Oh, I don't remember Latchcom. Because <laughs> they <laughs> sent it to you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 I remember sort of now. Uh. <laughs> 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 Ah, <laughs> <yep. laughs> See, that's one of those standalone moments you can send somebody that doesn't spoil the episode, though. That's true. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Lots <come. laughs> I um, you you might want to get that fixed. No, there we go. (laughs) Cannabis plants, low lighting. If only my hand worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. So I'm going to call my ex wife. <laughs> well. Uh, Better get drunk first. That's a good idea. Yeah, that'll be fine. 
I love how you can't see any like evidence of repairs on the ship from all the repairs they've done lately. <laughs> it's like the trombone section during graduation that one year. <laughs> Oh, good. You know, there's nothing like playing a graduation hungover. The director came back and looked at the trombone section. He's like, you all look hungover. <laughs> he yes, sat down sir. next to us and said, God, I am too. <laughs> awesome. Chief Lamar. Chief Lamar, he got promoted. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bum bum ba bum. bum. Holy crap. No. Oh, it's about fabric to... of space itself. Yeah. <laughs> A planet. Oh, good. Um, nice slow landings down. on there. Pull yeah. up. Theme. Bah, Don't bah. skip the intro. Bah, 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 bah. This is the Orville, not Robot Chicken. I was about. I was just thinking this would work really well with the chickens. It's those. Um, it's those short, long syncopations. Still, the design of the ship has grown on me. Yeah. I'm still not thrilled with it, but I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? I think it's fine coming or going, but I don't like the side view of it. Mm, yeah. yeah, true. Whoosh. Bum, 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 bum. At least they didn't land on that problem or that problem. At least they didn't land on the planet with Armis. Uh, Lieutenant Malloy and I, thank you. <laughs> I forgot it, but now that you mention it. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh, 
shouldn't do that. You, you shouldn't do that. Of course, she's standing on a ridge and is pretty visible where she's at. <laughs> <laughs> I will let them see me while she's standing literally like a statue mm-hmm uh they're gonna see you they're gonna see you uh they saw you oh that that's not gonna help. No, don't, don't, don't. Uh, d d d d let her go. Let her go. It's definitely not drugs. <laughs> Hypo spray. <laughs> Too hungover. Grab the phaser instead. Uh, you're going to be seen. This is going to be bad. Oh, see? Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Commercial break. Whee! We're back. Yahoo! That's a new one. Well, we are talking about cowboys over there. He's the captain. Now you owe me two dates. <laughs> or you owe me skipping straight to the second date, if you know what I mean. Am I right? Date, dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, there went. no. Yeah, Monopoly. Latchcom. Latchcom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. I think the uh, Monopoly game would get more violent. That's true.
P, B, and J. Oh, hey. Yeah, not enough knives. Totally is. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're in the same chain of command or anything. Not really. You should like be like Janeway dating Chakotay. <sighs> or Cisco dating Kira. Just imagine Riker like leaning over and you know like grabbing like Captain Picard's face, <laughs> and then you know <laughs> spitting a half chewed <laughs> jelly sandwich into your mouth. You know, <laughs> <laughs> man, sex is weird in the future. I mean, I'm not going to kink shame. <laughs> uh, There's a Babylon Five episode about hey, that. Hey, commercial break. We're back. We're back. The Babylon 5 episode about kink shaming? <laughs> Maybe back off. What do you suppose that looks like on the planet? <laughs> you, you shouldn't go down Just, you shouldn't go no this is now the second time you shouldn't have gone oh yeah they have that oh yeah it's kind of hidden Yeah, I was going to say that's like a like a gothic cathedral there. That's a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. That, that's a bad idea. Really bad idea. Don't shoot his dad. <laughs> <laughs> She's now 700 years old. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I thought she was going to collapse there. Yeah. <laughs> Bust her head open. Bad idea. Kicks a lot of ass. Yeah. Now he's impotent. Ever. (laughs) (laughs) 700 years later, all the males have been castrated. Ugh. There it is. Um, Oh, good. They've been crucified. um, Uh oh. I knew a Kelly once and I would not have trusted her with that. Commercial break. Wee. We're back. Kelly. Ah, space donkey. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Space beggars. Space children. (laughs) Dude, those space swords are awesome. (laughs) Yeah. Yes, she is. Literally, right now. (laughs) (laughs) Man, the the space gallows are gonna, you know. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Oh, wait. They're not actually hanging them, they're just stringing them up. They have gills in the palms of their hands. Yeah. God. Ah, Kelly. Oh. Ow. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that's... It's a little graphic. Oh, TV, okay. Wow. <laughs> Good luck bleeding to death. I feel like they'd be bleeding a lot more than that. They should if they cut deep enough. Yeah. Mm. I'll bet it's got flying buttresses. <laughs> See, look at him. Flying buttresses. This is some good, like, original Star Trek music going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got the details on the uniform down pretty good.
<laughs> you really fucked that one up, Ed, didn't you? <laughs> it all worked out, though. <laughs> Maybe don't talk to her that way. Yes, yeah, she can. They already have. Yep. Too late now. Stop white knighting. That's what you can do. You need to let her be an adult and face her mistake. Good old sleeping on the couch. Yep. Yep. Don't deserve to sleep in a bed when you're, you know, that lonely. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back in our stolen clothes that probably, you know, put a lot of hardship on that family 700 years ago. That's true. <laughs> well, yeah, they never returned them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it hasn't happened yet. They could still return them. <laughs> wow. That's a pretty badass uh, stained glass window there. This is a, oh. literally the second coming. Kill it like the rest. That never happens. <laughs> it happened one time. <laughs> that kid didn't even say anything first. Yeah. Uh. Commercial break. Wee. We're back. You're right. Actually, I only healed one girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Um, stab him in the chest. Oh wait. Oh oh. It, it, ow. Hang on, blood ritual. Um, um, he's going to stab himself through the heart. 
Let's go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> now they're going to worship technology. <laughs> and they're going to come back and invade the galaxy. And it takes 17 minutes to launch the shuttle. String her up and cut her. <laughs> this is going to create a religious war. Yep. Don't, don't, don't kill the boy. Kelly the Traveler. Much better than Kelly the God. Now, it's on the book. <laughs> <laughs> well, Richelieu. He's going to stab him. <laughs> Philandus is dead. He's a dead man walking. Oh. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> Heal that motherfucker. If only Kelly hadn't abandoned him in this time of need. Commercial break. Commercial break. Commercial break. We're back. We're back. Wee. Told Wee. you we're bad at this. We. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nuclear wasteland. <sighs> it's gonna be bad. In Saudi Arabia, I just saw it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. No. Mm -hmm.
he doesn't process the passage of time the way you do. <laughs> Isn't this a Voyager episode? Yep. He doesn't process. Uh. Hmm. Well, now we know what it looks like. Yeah. It's like the most badass sunrise ever. That must play hell with all their transmissions technology. I would think so, yeah. No. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and the Borg have invaded. <laughs> <laughs> now they worship Isaac. That was fast. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to assimilate the fuck out of you guys. <laughs> A clothes glow. That's awesome. I want a suit that glows. I'll find you one. Could you contact our admiral in... <laughs> <laughs)> so saith Kelly. <laughs> it is her honor. <laughs> Yeah, but can you heal a broken heart? Your uniform's still zipped. Yeah.
Oh. Okay. I was like, is this a commercial <laughs> or is it the end? <laughs> that is a very satisfying ending to that story arc. I mean, I assume they'll revisit it in season two, but that's that that worked out well. Um you know, it's and it's one of those it's one of those Star Trek parallels you know yeah this show has star trek par- parallels have you noticed what uh, <laughs> i know right <laughs> they're hidden under layers and layers of thinking and this was a voyager episode they sent the doctor down for <laughs> centuries yeah mm-hmm. um, he inexplicably had children right <laughs> i remember that yeah and then and then the the life forms came up and met voyager yeah and talked to him and towed yeah. them out of the the gravity field because they were stuck in the gravity. Yeah, that was after, the only difference. After they worship, <laughs> remember they worship Voyager. Yeah, yeah, that one. That that. Um, I'm not putting. I'm not putting it down. I think actually this episode was better than the Voyager episode. It's far better. Yeah. And and let's hope they continue a trend of doing Voyager episodes better. <laughs> <laughs> Good God! Like most of Voyager, like oh. <laughs> But um, there were a couple good episodes. There were yeah. a couple of good episodes, but you know, who, who who was it that had babies that they sh- we don't talk about? The captain and Tom Paris, the lizards. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry. I I'm I'm having a uh, very bad reaction because Hulu has decided that I need to watch all of the Twilight movies <laughs> and is suggesting all five of them or whatever. Oh, Are there five? I don't know. I is don't suggesting know. that I watch them. The- I'm wow! Not okay with that. No, nobody is. Like the Orville clothes, and it's like, oh, you should watch these. No, please, God, no. So sorry to derail, but uh, <sighs> that's all right. But no, I, I like, I like that. I like the way that resolved their, uh, their, their, their status with each yeah. other, because um, because it's not a storybook romance that worked out in the end, and and I appreciate that it it worked out in a way that you know. That, that shows maturity. Because um, you just don't get that <laughs> in, 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 you know, in, in media, TV and movies and, and so forth. Like, you know, how, how many, how many Disney romances can we get before, you know? And, and I mean, honestly, my opinion is that the stories are, they do more harm. Yeah. They do more harm than they do good. You know, the stories where, well, love conquers all and it, it just they're meant to be together. And no matter what happens, it's it's a happy ending because they're together. And, and I if mean, one of them's persistent, even though the other one doesn't want them anymore, eventually they'll win them over. Yeah. If you put if you put her on a high enough pedestal. And treat her like the princess that she's not and doesn't want to be, then, you know, everything will work out. And, or, and, you know, conversely, if he's a giant asshole, all you have to do be is persistent enough and he'll change. Exactly. And be the your dreams. Exactly. And, and that stuff does way more harm than good. And I like that we're seeing two flawed people make bad decisions and learn from it and realize that they can't have the fairy tale. That, that's really satisfying. I'm really, really glad to see that. I want to see a lot more of that in TV and movies and media because you know I I will put my hand up first in front of everybody to to acknowledge all of the problems in my life that have been caused by having, you know, very bad models about how to handle other people in those sort of fairy tale storybook kind storybook kind of ways and you know not only decisions I've made but expectations of me from people who didn't understand how life worked either and just we we need like reality you know we need evidence based storytelling <laughs> i was i was afraid you say we need reality tv and i, I almost no. did but then i realized what i was saying and i realized that wasn't what in something that isn't reality and <sighs> so yeah i'm very happy about that ending very happy about that what do you guys think i think it was a good into the first season. Yeah, actually. And, is it 
Because that was the story that the whole series started with. And that's also where it ended. So it bookends it well. Well, yeah. And, you know, especially at the beginning, they mentioned the the deal with Derulio and it kind of wrapped up that part of it too. Like, hey, we've had time to... Hey. Yeah, exactly. We both boned him now, so... Right, yeah. (laughs) Maybe we just couldn't control ourselves. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Uh, no, very good episode. I'm, I'm, I, I enjoyed that a lot. I really did. Uh, certainly deserves the highest rating, I think, of anything we've watched. That, you know, very, very good. I agree. Yeah. So now on to season two. On to season two. Yep. It's nice to what now? It's nice to have an evening just watching some shows with, you know, some people I know. Yeah. Even if we are geographically hundreds of miles apart. Mm-hmm. The magic of the internet. But we're watching TV together in spirit. And maybe with some other people, we just don't know it yet. Yeah. You know, join us. You know, pull up your pull up your friends and uh hang out with your couch. Yeah, and just hang out with us. Yeah. And, you know, listen to some some Star Trek The Next Generation list of some Marvel. If you haven't come back and listened to our old episodes, I hope that the ones we've done more recently are better than, you know, the first couple we did. I like to think we've improved a little. Um, I don't know. I haven't come back and listened to our old ones for a while. But, you know, we're making these all the time. Um, now, it's coincidental, really, that we are ending a season of the Orville and a season of The Next Generation at the same time. If we totally plan that out. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was absolutely. not a happy accident. Yeah, like everything that we do, like we meticulously plan everything we do, and we're completely organized people who um, try. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) But um, so we'll be taking a little bit of a break from our usual episodes for the next couple weeks. Uh, Look for Star Trek The Motion Picture um, in the next week or two. Um, Also, which we are going to have a little meeting right after we're done with this recording, look for a retrospective on the first season of next generation um, that we'll do just kind of a special podcast style episode where we talk about that. Um, and we may as well do one for the Orville too, even about it. Um, so look for those in our regular Wednesday Orville slots and Friday um, next generation slot um, over the next couple weeks. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining us through the first season of The Orville and the first season of Next Generation, which will come out after this is released. We're just, you know, we have fun making these, and, and we hope you have fun listening. Yep. And we'll be <laughs> on to season two of The Orville after that. Yeah, which, you know, has been airing in our absence, and we haven't watched any of it yet. And I know, like, a couple Project people... Has. Oh. I've watched a couple. The Traitor. first two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I bet you, did you skip the intro to him? I, I did. I invented a skip intro button, and then I pressed it. Blasphemer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you'll love the new, uh, the new intro theme. Oh, really? It's been a long road. God! <laughs> <laughs> Getting from there to here. Except it's uh, Peter Griffin singing it. Yes. <laughs> it's been a long ride. I can't do Peter Griffin either. No. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I forgive right. you. Well, gentlemen, I have to piss. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. <laughs>